Naveen Jindal, uh, Steel Tycoon and uh, Member of Parliament is my guest on News Hour Direct tonight. Uh, Mr. Jindal, uh, if I can begin by asking you, you know, those pictures of you losing your cool at, at, a, at a video journalist, pushing him away physically, uh, is the pressure of being in the front page news not for the right reasons beginning to show on you? You are known to be a cool customer, but that was, that was clearly not appropriate, Mr. Jindal. No, I, I am very cool. I think you also have to see the behavior of the journalist and the cameraman following me into a conference and just right behind me and I'm asking them, I say, okay, please wait. We can do this uh, later. But he's just pushing through. I mean, I'm greeting people over there in middle of, the st of a conference on steel and he's just going through. So, and then uh, before that camera would have, as I turned around, he would have hit my face. So I had to, I had to stop him. I just moved the camera so he doesn't hit me. That's all. I never touched the cameraman or anybody but somebody just feels that he can shove a camera in my face. I won't let that happen. Th that's, that's it. If I look at the tape, that's not really the case because I see the cameraman going behind you up to a point. And then after that, obviously, you move forward. But then you come forward and you ask, you, there's some conversation between you. You ask, where's this camera coming from? Can you switch off the camera? There's a conversation going on. At one point, you push towards the camera. Mr. Jindal, my question to you again is, and I know I'm pushing the point, is that appropriate behavior expected from a member of parliament? Okay, it is, it is not appropriate behavior, but what the media also does uh, is not appropriate. The media also has to behave more responsibly. And let me not say generalize the media, that uh, the person over there, I mean, he also irritated me a lot. And, uh, you know, I mean, all the time in a conference, I'm, there was not the right venue to be asking questions. I told them, I said, let's talk about it later. But he was just insistent, just uh, following me behind. I did not think their behavior was appropriate at all and I just feel that uh, it was a reaction to whatever you know irritation that he was causing me that I had I had to move the camera away that's S it since since you aren't really justifying uh, what happened there I think we'll move on Mr Jindal bottom line is this I think so let's I think let's 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 move on uh, let's we move have on. a let's lot of on. important things to discuss uh, Mr Jindal simple question to you you produce coal at much lower cost than other companies. You produce your own coal. Therefore, you have a cost advantage. The cost of your production of coal is less than that of other companies. You sell coal at a higher rate. First simple question as no, we go into we details is I cannot understand no, first. how you can, you know, if you yeah. are making coal at a lower cost, you must pass on that cost advantage to the consumer. On the contrary, you are selling it at higher rates. Okay, firstly, you must get your um, you know, facts right. We are producing coal to either produce steel or to produce power. We are not in the business of selling coal and neither is selling coal allowed. So we have never ever sold coal. And as far as our cost being low, our cost is maybe 100 rupees lower than Coal India. So ours is maybe 650 rupees, theirs is around 7, 750 rupees. So that would amount to not even a 5 paisa <coughs> a cost per, per kilowatt hour, per unit. So the efficiency of our plant is not because we get, we've got 50 or 100 rupees cheaper coal. The efficiency of the company is that we are not transporting that coal over 1500 kilometers. We have not set up the plant in Haryana or Delhi or Punjab and transporting that coal over 50 kilometers. We have put up our power plant only 7 kilometers but away from, is, the, uh, from the coal mines. But that does not answer we, my question. Using, no, uh, Arna, please listen to me. No, Arna, I'm, I'm giving you the question. I'm giving you the answer. So the profitability of the company is because of efficient operations, lower capital costs. We are operating the plant to 98, 99% plant load factor. Because you may be referring to the story that came in Times of India. So the success of Jindal Power is not because of cheap coal. It is because of efficient operations. Mr. And secondly, uh, we did not have, we are supposed to supply power to Chhattisgarh Electricity Board. Uh, the prices are fixed by the regulator. Now, then we are supplying power to our industrial estate. We are supplying power to them. We supply. We, we, we were supplying to no, them at two rupees fifty paisa, then at three rupees. 
and that's the that's most attractive rates that we can, we could supply power to them at. Rest of the power, whenever we are selling in the open market through the market exchange or through um, short term or medium term contracts, we all get we sell the power Mr. through competitive bidding. Mr. Jindal, so obviously we are the lowest at that time in the competitive bidding. Yes, Mr. Jindal, you see, those are those, that is your interpretation, and I know what you are saying. You're okay. saying I run my company very well. Why is anybody grudging me my running of the yes, company, of right? That's what you're saying. Now, I cannot agree with yes. that, Mr. Jindal, mm -hmm. because uh, the cost of producing coal for you is around 450 to 500 rupees a ton. Now, you, you say that I pay a royalty of 150, 147 uh, rupees. It comes to 650 rupees. Others are producing at 700. I have figures which say that the NTPC... Uh, uh, was uh, the figures are actually around 1100 and for other companies also but it's in excess of a thousand no, so no point is and 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 one minute one minute one minute one minute no, no, see but, it's no, one minute mr talk. jindal mr jindal one minute how much is their transportation cost mr how much jindal is my that transportation is cost? that is different you can't say simplistic if no, that is plant a plant no, no, no. 500 kilometers away no that's that's the point but is we're talking about cost of coal at the plant station mr jindal let's look at very simply you're saying that they got their business wrong. They have set up their, you know, they transport, they spend I'm money on the transportation that. of coal. I, I understand your point, but I have a follow-up question sure. for you. My question for you, let me take this sure, whole sure, business please, aside sure. of the cost of transportation of coal. Let me simply look at the cost that is incurred. You incur less cost. They incur much more cost. You okay. sell it much more expensive than they do. So your your profit margins are tremendous. If I, you, if I you, you have posted 1,765 crores as profits, which is 60% of your income, and your other competitors are posting 12% of their income, and you do that despite having the cheapest coal. In other words, you make your cost of producing the power is less, your cost at which you're selling the power is higher than the market. Why don't you reduce your profit margin a bit and pass it on to the consumer? After all, Mr. Jindal, you are also a politician. Okay, Arnab, so are you, are you trying to suggest that I should increase my cost? I should increase the cost no, of No, I am suggesting you should increase the cost of transportation. You, you should, no, I, should, I am not. No, no, please let me complete. I do not, Arnab, I do not interrupt you when you are asking me a question. So kindly let me answer. You ask me a question, I am trying to answer that question. So if I am efficient, if I am an efficient producer of power, if I have, I do not incur the kind of costs other people do on transportation or on, uh, or I run the plant efficiently, and then whatever I have explained already, whatever power we are selling, either on short term or on medium term, it is all through competitive bidding. So whatever are the prices, and you will appreciate that over the years, when in 2005, six, even the open market, the prices were five to six rupees. In seven, eight. They were six, seven at times, even eight rupees. But with these, this plant coming in now, we are selling at three rupees thirty paisa, three rupees forty paisa. Mr. Jindal, you are saying to me at around three rupees. No, you are asking me a question. A counter question is the only reason I I I, I came in. Your counter question to me was, or no? Do you want me to produce power at a higher cost? My answer to you is, of course not. But certainly, it would be expected that Jindal would sell power cheaper than other companies because its yes. cost of producing the power Only is cheaper now if jindal wants to make the maximum profit sure. then you are you can be motivated by that the question which is being put to you why you know besides one of the major reasons you are being questioned and that times of india article also said that your cost of coal is less you're you're selling the power high the question is being on your entire methodology okay arnab i'll again answer that our cost of coal is only marginally low and whatever power we are selling if the market is at 3 rupees 30 paisa i can't say i'm going to sell at 3 rupees so no. whatever is the market we are uh, we are guided by the market and we whenever we are the lowest cost producer only then our power is sold and you will appreciate that over the years last few years in the open market from a level of 5 to 6 rupees, now the prices have steadily come down to a level of 3 rupees, 3 rupees 25 paisa. Mr. So power prices are coming down and so is the profitability, because we will be happy to know that so is the profit, prof, profitability of the company coming down. Now, Mr. Jindal, uh, let me not beat around the bush. Yes, sir. 
have you used your political clout as a ruling party member of parliament to wrangle things which any other corporate may not have and i'd like to at this point of time specifically refer to uh, something which happened in the year uh, 2007 mr jindal the central electricity authority makes recommendation for the allocation of coal blocks uh, around the 30th of uh, july 2007 the central electricity authority recommended in the amarakonda murga dangal coal block in jharkhand two other companies after doing a detailed evaluation they were not recommending jindal power in fact i am told and you can correct me if i am wrong that letters were written by the power ministry at that point of time objecting to how jindal's 